Tonight, a group of Indian River County parents do plan to go before the school board to emphasize safety in schools. WPTV News Channel 5's John Shaman found out today they want to make sure that the youngest students in that district are not forgotten. All the shootings and everything that's happening around the world is scary for everyone. La Miracle McGee has a child in elementary school in Indian River County and two more that will join in the coming years. So she and some other moms under the banner of the Indian River Parents Group are asking the school board to improve school security. Who knows? Why not get in front of it and you know, beat it before it happens. McGee says there isn't one specific thing that spurred her to act, but she'd like to see more cameras and added perimeter fencing. Another concern of these moms is if it comes to an active shooter situation, the youngest students could be the most defenseless. You have to look at the big picture. What, what can we do uh, quick and fast that's going to help save lives. John Teske, the director of school safety and emergency operations for the district, says they're in compliance with all state regulations and they complete safety risk assessments for all county schools annually. He met with the parent group recently. Our job is to listen to the to the stakeholders, listen to our community. We can't implement everything because there's always constraints and barriers, but we can listen and make things better. McGee says the meeting was very informative and productive. They were awesome. Like I just want to be a helping hand to them and do whatever it is to protect everyone's kids. So far this year, there have been four cases involving weapons on school grounds, three in the past three months. Tonight's school board meeting begins at 6. In Indian River County, John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.